Hi everyone, welcome back to Game Maker Cast. It's Mickey, and in this video, I want to go through a quick little character effects that I have here, where if our character's running, we kind of have a smoke trail coming behind them, as well as if we jump from a high distance, we'll see a different smoke trail, so it kind of goes up. Uh, I just want to cover that. I think it's a pretty cool effect, and I wanted to share that with you. So let's close our game here. Let's dive into our project that we have. So running our default game here, we'll just have the character running around and there's no uh, effects going on, no dust particles or anything like that. So this is what we're starting out with the base and you can see that we have a couple sprites here. We have the character sheet as well as the ground, the dirt, and then we have this dust object. And all this really is, is it's a, <laughs> it's just a 16 by 16 square. And inside we kind of have some alpha white a dark and light color. You can make that solid, it doesn't really matter, it's totally up to you. Now, in the character, you can see that we have our crate event, which is everything that we've seen before, or we've covered on the channel. And then in the step event, we have our horizontal movement with some state machines here, and then our collision. And then finally, we just have vertical movement and animation. So nothing really spectacular here. Now, what we want to do is the first thing is if our character is falling from a high distance, so they're falling from up here or they get on, say, this and they jump down, we want to have some dust come up here because they've jumped or they've landed from a high distance. So to do that, let's actually go down to our horror, or sort of vertical speed. So inside the if statement right here, where we check to see if we are basically on the floor, what we need to do before we set our vertical speed to zero is this basically means that we are falling. So we need to check to see what our vertical speed is. And if our vertical speed is high enough or fast enough, then what I want to do is I want to create some dust particles. So right before we change our vertical speed to zero, we'll say if, uh, not in caps locks, but we'll say if floor. And the reason we're using floor is because we want a whole number. We could use round or even seal, but let's just use floor for now. So we'll say if vertical speed is bigger than seven, then we're gonna create some dust particles. Now floor will always round down. That's why you can use round or you can use seal, which rounds up, it doesn't really matter. So if our vertical speed is bigger than seven, so let's say repeat seven times to add seven particles. So we could just say var xx equals our player's x position plus a random range between let's say minus 16 and 16. And then our new y position is our character's y position plus a random range between 12 and 18. And this is base off of if we take a look at our sprite, we have a sprite of 32 by 32. So we just kind of want it to appear somewhere in this area here. I'm gonna place that back in the center and close that. If we go back to our character, we have a new X position, a new Y position. So what we have to do is we have to say, declare an object because we wanna change some things in this object. And we're just gonna say instance create layer at the X position and the new Y position. And I know that in my room, if I take a look at it, I have a specific layer for dust effects. So I wanna add everything to there. So I will just say, add it to dust effects. Just make sure that the spelling is correct. And the object that I wanna use is obj underscore dust. Now the reason that we're storing this instance as an object is because when I land on the floor, I want the dust to kind of move up. So I'll say object dot add movement equals true and the object dot delay equals zero. Now you may not have this in a regular object, but I know for sure you may not have it in a regular object, but if we take a look at our dust, let me close my room here. You can see that I have a couple of variables. I have add movement and then the delay. What add movement will do, if add movement um, is equal to true, whoops, then the X and Y position kind of just go up and they squiggly go left and right. The delay is just a timer so that the dust will stay on the screen a little bit longer. If so, if the delay is zero, the first part here doesn't fire and it goes directly to this here, which makes the 
dust move and then adds the x scale and y scale so with that let's see here i think that's it let's try our game and when we first fall let's see if we have any dust perfect and we do and let's try and jump from high distance perfect so you can see that when we jump from a high distance we get some dust if we just fall that's fine i don't think i'm running fast enough for that yeah so that's okay now the next thing we want to do is make it so when we are running with our guy we want some dust to come behind him as well so that we can go up to our horizontal movement which is up here at the top so once we have our horizontal input right before we do our place meeting that's where i'm going to have the dust effect here because i could say if the horizontal speed is not equal zero so meaning that we are moving what we can do is we could say instance create layer at the x and y position of position of our player and what i want to do this time is i want to add a little bit of y randomness so i'll say the y position plus a random range between 10 and 16 and then obviously i want the dust effects layer and the object underscore dust now i'm not storing anything as this variable just because i don't want to i want to keep it as is however if we run our game we should notice a little bit of a problem well it's not really a problem but you can see that we have a lot of dust particles and also when we're jumping in the air if we're moving we also have the dust particles following us so if that's something that you want to do then you can feel free to leave that in but what i want to do is i only want to have it when i'm actually on the ground so I luckily have created a variable called is on ground. And this variable is only set to true after our player has collided with the ground. So I set it to true here, which means I can come up to where we check our speed and I can check to see if we are on the ground. So I could say if is on ground. So if we are on the ground, then that's when I wanna create the dust effect. So if I run this again, I should still have that nice dust effect, but when I jump, the dust effect stops. Now one thing you may notice that, you know, we are running at 60 frames a second. So when my character moves, we could be creating up to 60 or more dust particles at a time. So we can kind of minimize this by adding a step counter. Let's create a new variable underneath the create event. We'll say step count equals zero. And in the step event, whenever our horizontal speed does not equal zero and is on the ground, then we could say the step underscore count plus equals one. Just make sure I have my variable name correct. All right, perfect. So we always want to increase that step count. And there's no real reason to have the step count to be an extremely large number. So we can just make sure we reset it to zero. Let's say if the step count is bigger than 60, then let's say the step count equals zero because we don't need this number to go up extremely high. Now, what we can do here is let's say every two steps, we want to create this dust effect. So we can easily do this with a modulus. So we can say if step count mod two equals zero, then we create a dust effect. So what we're saying here is if the step count divided by two is a whole number, so if it can go into two evenly, then we're gonna create a dust effect. So if I run this, we shouldn't really notice too much, but every second step we are creating a dust particle. If I set this to something higher, such as 10, and I hit F5 to run this, you should notice a significant a significant change here because we're only doing it every 10 steps so this is just something to play around with and once you kind of get it and you find out what works on your machine it, it pretty much works really great now that's the end of this video i hope you've learned a few things and i hope to see you in the next video as always a shout out to my patrons such as wayne paul and gene and also the anonymous supporters please share the video if you can and i'll talk to you in the next one